What up, fam? It's your boy G Rich. All right, today, yes, sir, I got a nice little treat for y'all. Nice little easy recipe for some um, grilled uh, swordfish steaks. And I also have some yellowtail red snapper. And these are red snapper fillets. Yes, sir. Okay? Listen, man, it's going to be good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to season everything pretty much the same. But the difference is I'm going to grill those uh, swordfish steaks, okay? I'm going to grill those, and um, I'm going to fry the red snapper. Yes, sir. I'm going to season the same. And then, now, now for as the, uh, 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 the swordfish steaks, fam, as far as that, I'm going to um, also add um, what I'm going to do. I'm going to melt some butter and some mixed garlic together. These are all ingredients that you need. I'm going to melt it together, and then towards the end, uh, as the uh, uh, as the swordfish steaks begin to um, be done, closely closely to begin, you know, beginning it to be done, that's when you're gonna add the uh, minced garlic and the butter mixed together. Oh man, it's going down. All right, so first thing, what we're gonna do, we're gonna season it up. These are all the ingredients. This is what's going on these the swordfish steaks and the red snapper, garlic powder, kosher salt. And black pepper mixed together. Yes, sir. We're going to put some Old Bay seasoning on that thing, too. Okay? Parsley flakes come later, but you're going to need it. All right, I have some regular. Remember the old school regular cornmeal, plain cornmeal. I also have some uh, New Orleans styles of the season, the season fish fry. And it has lemon flavor in it. Yes, sir. Now it's going down. See, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a whole bag, one whole bag of this, and I'm going to use a half a bag of the regular cornmeal. I'm going to mix it mix it together. That's what I'm going to batter the fish in, okay? But before we do all that, after I season them, we're going to um, put the snapper in one bag, and we're going to put the swordfish steaks in another bag, and we're going to marinate it in some herb, garlic, and lemon juice. Marinate. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. For 30 minutes in the refrigerator, fam. We're going to marinate that. And um, when we come back, that's when we're going to have a, uh, a couple bags, one for the steaks and one for the um, the, uh, the red snapper. And we're going to put the batter in then and mix it up, and that's when we're going to begin to cook, okay? I'm also going to cook alongside of it some grits. Yes, sir. It's nothing, boy, ain't nothing like fish and grits, fam. Trust me. Stick with your boy G. Rich. You can eat that for breakfast lunch or even dinner yes sir okay so without further ado let's go ahead and jump on in it all right so what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and season one side get it good and seasoned man have you ever had let's bring it and spread it out a little bit have you ever had um swordfish stew or swordfish soup <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you need to try it. Okay, pack it in there. Now we're going with a little garlic powder. Oh, that's a new one. <clears throat> okay. Now, Obey. All you're just going to do is just sprinkle it on there, get it good and seasoned. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Pat the season on there. Make sure that your, your seafood is good and dry. Okay. Now the same thing to this side. I love just putting all this garlic on there, man. The garlic is good. By the way, I already did the other side of all the fish, okay? Okay. 
pat it down. With clean hands. Nice and pat down. Now, more after I wash my hands, I'm going to put it in the bags, fam. That's when I'm going to come back and pour the marinade in the bag, and we're going to let it marinate for 30 minutes. And then after that, we'll be back to start frying and grilling. Yes, yeah, sir. Hold on tight. I'll be right back. All right, fam. So here we go. I'm going to pour this entire bag in here. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Then I'm going to take, like, because, um, Listen, cornmeal is good and strong, okay? You don't need as much. So I'm gonna pull like one fourth of a bag. That's good. There we go. And I'm gonna mix this together. Let me get that good and mix. We're gonna coat that fish real good in the, in the swordfish steak. <clears throat> Sure you mix it up real good. Okay, that seemed to be pretty good. Okay, before we start frying the red snapper, I'm gonna put this mixture here in a Ziploc bag while the red, while the uh, while the um, fish is the fish and the swordfish steaks are marinating in the refrigerator for 30 minutes, and so we could be all ready to go. And then the, then comes the easy part, the grilling and the frying. Yes, sir. Stick with your boy. Okay, here we go. We're gonna pull the marinade in here and get it good and soaked. And yes, sir. Half and half. All right. You zip it up. Just mix it around a little bit. Make sure every piece get touched. Okay. Right. Zip this up. Same thing. Once it marinated, it'll stick on there pretty good. You gotta worry about it, and then when this, when especially when the red snapper get coated with the batter, it's gonna be a thing of beauty. All right, so hold on tight. I'll see you in 30 minutes. I'll be right back. All right, fam, we're ready to go. After after the um, fish done been marinated, I got this grill here. It's good and hot too. Oh man, if you can see the um, smoke coming from it, that's how I wanted it. I'm using extra virgin olive oil by Bertali. Yeah, sir. Good stuff there. Yeah, that should be pretty good. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and get the fish sticks ready here. <clears throat> yes, sir. We got some sword fish steaks, fam. Oh my word! Look how that's been marinating. Ooh. Uh huh. You're going to cook each side. You're going to brown each side first. And then we're going to cover it so it can cook the inside. It only takes between um, 10 and 15 minutes to cook. I'm sorry. It takes around 7 or 8 minutes to cook on each side. That's what I meant to say. That's better. Mm -hmm. And no, I don't have onions on there. You don't want onions with your swordfish. No, not in the swordfish steak. I don't want it to take over the flavor. I want to taste it. There you go. That's third. I'm going to show you that quick. See how, see how pretty that's going to be looking? Yes, sir, it's grilling already. And you know how to slow it down. I'm putting the cover on it. I don't want to turn the temperature down. Either temperature on is at 336 degrees. All right. Now, we're going to take our red snapper. The grease is, the, the oil is getting hot. That's vegetable oil, okay? And we're going to take them and we're going to put them in this mixture that I made it, okay? And we're going to put, mix it all around. Hold on a second. We're going to drop all the fish in there at one time. Oh, 
fam. Look how good and coated that is. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. All right, fam. Okay, I got the hands washed up good. I'm gonna mix it around. Let it get good and coated. Oh man, fam. Yes, sir. It's working out already. All right. All right, we're gonna sit it right there. Wait a minute. Yeah, I want to get good and coated. Okay. Don't worry about making a mess. You can always clean up afterwards. Okay. All right, let's turn these over. Mm -hmm. Oh, fam. Stick with your boy. Yeah, it's trying to come apart. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sir. Just a little more flavor, a little more black pepper on it. You don't want to hurt that. Now we're gonna let that let that brown a little bit more. And then we're gonna cover it. Okay. Mm -mm. All right. Oh yeah, that's good and coated, fam. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the fillets in there first. So it's only got two of them, the two big ones. Yes, yeah, sir. You know, fried fish don't take, once that grease hit 350 degrees, it don't take long at all. Yes, yeah, sir. Now here, over here, you see I got my grits over here simmering. Now here's my grits. So I got these sitting, I got these simmering on low. And keep the lid on it, that'll keep them good and creamy, okay? Look at that, huh? Yeah, sir. It's going down today, fam. Happy Fish Fry Friday. <laughs> Happy Fish Fry Friday. Say that real fast and see what happens. Yeah, you see it, you see it. <laughs> Make sure I'll be able to pick it up. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, fam. So we're going in. Oh, yeah. Come on out of there, big boy. They don't want to come out. But they ain't got no choice. All right, we're going in with the yellowtail red snapper. Oh, man. I'm going to turn them down. Yeah, sir. They are looking just like steak. Look at that. That's going to be good. Now, towards the end, I told you, we're going to, when they're done, that's when I'm going to drench the minced garlic, the garlic butter on top of them. Yes, sir. With a little parsley flake. You'll see. All right, two more minutes. Two more minutes on cooking the inside of it and then take the top back off another two minutes to brown inside and it should be ready to go. Alright fam, as you can see the swordfish is done but I'm just browning. I want it a little more darker on each side. It won't hurt nothing and it's still going to be juicy. But this red snapper, yeah sir, it's ready to go. <laughs> Mama, there goes that man. I'm not playing with y'all today, fam. Hold on tight. I'll be back with the finished look. Okay, fam. The last fish is out. And look at the ooh, look at the swordfish steaks. OMG. Yes, sir. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, 
Now here's the melted garlic butter. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and just pour that on there. It's so good this way, fam, trust me. Oh my goodness. Now, sprinkle a little garlic. Parsley flakes on a little garnishment. Won't hurt none. Oh my goodness. So you let that sit for like two minutes. Look at that, fam. Yes, yeah, sir. Now I'm fin here's our finished plate. Ooh, fam. Look at that. Let me try a piece of this soy fish. Oh my goodness. It's like a chunk of steak. Mmm. And you know, it's delicious. You know, it tastes like salmon. But with that grill taste on it, oh my word. You ever have this in a stew or um swordfish uh soup? Yeah. Stick with your bar. This is delicious, fam. I'm going in. All right, fam. And there's my ba my baby plate there. I made a plate first. That's the finished look. Yes, sir. You see it. <laughs> that is the yellowtail red snapper. That is the piece of the swordfish steak. And those are the grits with salt and pepper. Yes, sir. With a slice of butter in the middle. Yes, sir. I hope y'all enjoy this. You know what I'm saying? And follow the uh, the uh, uh, the recipe step by step. You're going to like it. And it's quick and easy, as you can see. Yes, sir. It don't take that long to fry fish. And the uh, swordfish steak don't take no more than 15 minutes. Love y'all to life. G-Rich out. Happy Friday, fam. In your mind.